What's up, YouTube? It's Drama. I'm here to pick up another review. Before I get into the shoe, I just want to say sorry for the gap between this video and my last video. In the future, I'm not planning to have videos that far in between. Just want to say sorry for that. So let's get into this shoe. It was my third year anniversary, and um, we went out to dinner, me and my girlfriend, and uh, I got dinner, and she got me roses. But not flowers. She got me Adi Rose, Adi Zero Rose 2.5s, uniform red, run white and black. These are also known as the Adi Zero Rose Brenda's. Real nice. He wore these on Valentine's Day. I think that's when they launched. They're called Brenda's because red is his mom's favorite color. That's his mom's name, Brenda. So I did cop the 2.0s. This is mainly going to be a performance review, but I will go into the fashion right now for all you guys that are here for fashion. We'll knock that out real fast. It's a real nice synthetic suede material. It's real clean on the front, just suede. Uh, on, on the forefoot, it's got a texture. Let's see if I could show you guys. There you go. Kind of reminds me of elephant print. Also, up here on the eyelids, real nice. Kind of goes down here. On the back, you got Adidas stripes, which is real nice. The bottom is white. Some people don't like that. It gets dirty, but it is what it is. You know, makes your shoe look nice. More sophisticated, I guess. The tongue of the shoe is not big at all. So that might be a turnoff for people who just want this for fashion. It does have a real nice logo with the rose here. With the Adidas white three stripes right there. That's pretty cool. But this is mainly a performance shoe, so let's get into the performance of this shoe. It is a lot lighter, it's 11 ounces, whereas the Adi Rose 2's were about 13 and a half ounces. It's a lot lighter. The reason being is because they use glue to attach the sprint frame to the shoe. On the Adi Rose 2.5's, they used stitching, which makes it a lot lighter. Think about it. What's lighter? A piece of thread or glue? Answer, piece of thread. So these stitching all around here makes the shoe a lot lighter. It's pretty amazing how much lighter this shoe feels compared to, to this shoe. Anyways, the bottom of the shoe, full hair and bone. The best traction you can get on a basketball shoe. Really nice. Got pivot grip right here and then hair and bone right here. Whereas on the Adi Rose 2, had the pivot grip. I forget what they call this. But, uh, and then they got splatter traction, which is okay. It was good. Not great. Hair and bone? Great. The problem is, it's a little softer rubber and not as deep. Take a look at this. This is the 2.5. Now take a look at this. It's a lot deeper. So that allows for better traction compared to this and this. This is better. Not that great, but it is full hair and bone. So what it lacks in the deepness and the hardness of the rubber makes up for full hair and bone. So on the Adi Rose 2, the main feature was that it was low cut so that uh, Derrick Rose had room for his speed wrap, his ankle brace. And then it featured this bungee design to close down the shoe for better lockdown in the heel. Because with low cuts you don't have great lockdown in the heel. Some players need that. So this allowed for a little bit better. But this one, the 2.5, it is a high top and it features ankle cushions, ankle pillows they're calling it, which apparently in a couple runs with this shoe it conforms to your ankle but it's not painful because they're basically pillows. It's a pretty cool feature, real nice. On the black ones, it's the pillows set out more because they're a different color but this is just all red which personally I like better. So um, on the bottom, the great thing about the twos is great lockdown in the heel great sprint frame is really underrated these days the heel is not as big maybe that had to do with something to make the shoe lighter but I mean it's still there it's got good lockdown the sprint frame is a little bit longer about 15 percent more they're saying compared to this where it ends right about here on the 2.0's you can feel it it ends right about here so twos were about here 2.5's are about here <coughs> Another thing about the twos were, for me, I have a wide foot, but even people without wide feet were feeling a little pinching here. It was a narrow shoe. I mean, look how narrow that is. 
It was a little painful. It was a little heavy. But that being said, this is still my favorite basketball shoe to play ball in. So what did Adidas do? They improved on it. They made the shoe a little wider, as you could tell. Still a little narrow. I did go a half size up. This is a 10. I got two point, or sorry, 10 and a half in this one. So props to Adidas for listening. They made the shoe wider. They made the shoe lighter. They made the sprint frame longer. This is just a real good upgrade from this. And this is a 2.5. This is the second half of the season shoe for Derrick Rose. I can't wait to see what they do with the full next model with the 3.0s and 3.5s. So, I think I covered everything in this shoe. Oh, I forgot one thing. The tongue of the shoe is mesh. It has perforations in it. It's breathable. This shoe is a lot more breathable than this shoe, where this shoe, the tongue was just covered with leather. This was a great shoe, but that being said, this shoe improves on almost every aspect except a few things. The heel is not as big, and the traction is a lot deeper, but that's very minor compared to the overall improvements that they made for this shoe. And priced at $110, what a great value. I mean, this is probably the best value for the shoe you're going to get. So if I miss anything, please leave a comment. I do have more pickups, more scheduled buys that I'm going to pick up this week and next week. So please subscribe. If you don't, please come back. Check out that channel. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. Like, comment, or subscribe. Do whatever. But until then, that was the Audi Rose 2.5 Brenda. haters is so true, but I can't feel it like a flathead in the Phillips. Don't get it twisted, nigga. I'm no